Hi hello everyone welcome to the channel so in this video you will see the python functions can be used within rgis pro application whenever whenever we use our python from parser to uh, create a label expressions and now we are in our rgis pro rgis software so rgis pro software so we are in our intro project so in the table of content section we have uh, two different layers one is of egypt and second one is india and uh, I'm going to explain about the labeling uh, expressions in RGIS Pro using our Python. So now to uh, simplify my, my map and make it more attractive. So first I will turn off my uh, India layer. So now I've, uh, I'm going to use our catalog pan. So this is our catalog section here. There, there is an option called folders in that we're going to navigate to our data source. So this is my folder containing a uh, Containing our uh, shape files for our, for our Python pro Python uh, tutorials. Let me show you that. So these are the different shape files we're gonna use for our Python tutorials. So now, so once you can able to uh, navigate it to your data source, so you can able to visualize here. We have our 10 meter admin zero countries dot shape file. So we're gonna drag and drop this into our uh, table of content section. So once you did that, we're gonna zoom out. So you can able to visualize here. This is the country's boundary layer. And now we can uh, rename this shape file. That is our layer called our country's boundary layer. You can rename as the countries. So to rename it, go to the table of content section of this layer and click this. So once you did that, we can just remove this part of this words. And now we have renamed as the countries. So once you did that, I will right click on the layer to zoom to see the extent of the all countries boundaries, countries together. For that, we can right click on this and we're going to click this option called zoom to layer. So once you did that, so now you can able to visualize the countries here, the full extent of the countries. So once you did that, now uh, I will use a feature layer appearance tab to set the symbology to a unique values. So for to do that, we're going to move on to our appearance section of this uh, area. In that, we're going to we're going to select the symbology section where we're going to click this option called symbolize your layer by categories. In that, we're going to select the unique values. So once you did that, a new tab will be open in this part of the section with the symbology countries representing our layer. And now we're going to uh, move on to our field one here. We're going to select the field name one as name so now let me select uh, the name so now we're gonna select this name so there is more than a hundred unique values were found do you want to generate the full list of the unique values yes so now it is generating our unique values so once you did that we're gonna uh, close our symbology uh, window here we're gonna close this so now uh, I will use a shift key to drag the rectangle around the countries of the northern Africa to zoom them uh, zoom them so for that we're gonna hold to shift and uh, the zoom uh, key appears here once you did that we're gonna zoom this part of this uh, northern African countries so so once you did that we're gonna drag this down a little bit so once you did that, we're going to right click on our countries layer containing different countries. Right click on this layer and we're going to label our countries. So click this option called enable. Uh, we're going to click this option called label. So once you did that, you can able to visualize the name of the countries appears here. So now uh, I will change the map scale to uh, 1 is to 20 million. So to do that, we're going to click this option here. So in that, we're going to select 1 is to 20 million. So we're going to click this option 1 is to 20 million. So now and now uh, I can see here some countries uh, some countries uh, like Central uh, African Republic have their name split across split across the uh, multiple lines. So now to access the property layers of the countries I will uh, right click on the layer name and choose the labeling uh, properties. So we're going to select this layer and we're going to uh, select this uh, option called labeling properties. 
so once you did that a new window popped up saying label class and representing our countries layer that is our countries so uh, on the label class pane uh, we're going to select this uh, option called position and uh, we're going to choose this uh, particular option called fittings fitting strategy so in that we're going to select this option called stack and uh, we're going to remove the stick mark so once you did that, uh, it ensures that the country's name is always on the single line. So now you can able to view that. So before it was in uh, multiple lines, now it is in single line. And uh, I'd like to uh, display the population at the last census under the name of each country. So for example, I like to uh, click on the country called Uganda and see there is a multiple attribute uh, named pop uh, underscore uh, estimate that is est pop underscore est so now uh, let me click this country called Uganda. so once you did that we're going to view this uh, details here we're going to move to our uh, pop underscore est that is population estimate so we're going to uh, yeah it is available here that is pop underscore est population estimate so there is a total population of Uganda. And here below we have our last census uh, for the year uh, 2002 it was the last census was taken on 2002 so once we did that we can close this pop-up window and now let's move on to our uh, feature layer labeling tab so for that we're gonna move on to here in this section we're gonna select the labeling so in that we're gonna select this option called uh, expression that is it sets the the label expression for the current label classes we're going to uh, click this so once you did that so here so once you did that and uh, here we're gonna make sure that uh, we are we're gonna focusing on currently on python so uh, we're gonna switch the language from uh, rk to python so we're gonna click the uh, language will be python so now to write a python function you make sure that you click this option called advanced advanced you're gonna click this so uh, it opens a find label function uh, that is of an expression uh, box so the label expressions in the in python the function is always named uh, find label so you make sure that you don't change over uh, don't change that and now uh, my label expression is going to use three fields so currently it has a it has a name as a one parameter there's a only one parameter here so uh, i will type in the last census uh, in last census and pop uh, pop underscore est as a two more uh, with the comma separating the field names and uh, a square back brackets surrounding them so we're going to type a comma and uh, we're going to add a square brackets so we're going to add a square, square brackets here we gonna type as a last census. So now I have typed as a last census and comma we had typed as an a pop est that is population estimate. So previously we have seen our in the attribute of uh, the Okanda we have seen uh, last census and the population estimate. And you make sure that you take a note uh, that the square brackets here don't indicate a Python list. So they are uh, used to instead to delimit the field names. So now uh, I'm going to use a Python string formatting to a set of variable text and uh, return that as uh, each country. Each country uh, features as processed. So now we're going to add uh, text equals to and now I will uh, stretch that out to make it a uh, little bit easier to read. And now uh, notice how I'm using our Python uh, the black slash uh, n to indicate where I want uh, a text uh, to break across the new lines. And uh, I need to make sure that I return that variable text. And now uh, I will click apply to see the new labels. So uh, you can able to view the labeling uh, in the previous. And now we're going to apply this with this option called apply. 
So now uh, once you did that, you can able to visualize here uh, in Uganda. You can uh, visualize the last census. It is in 2002 and the estimate population is given here. Likewise, each of these different countries, the last census and the populations are given here. And now uh, when I take a glance of it, uh, on finding the population values are uh, hard to take uh, in that uh, glance because some of them have up to uh, 9 digits. So now uh, to make it more easier, so uh, what I will do is to use a technique to insert a commas between uh, each set of the three uh, digits. Now uh, to do that after the, the third token here, I will type a, a colon and a comma in this here, uh, here. So I will type a comma and that is a colon and a comma. So now I can able to view that I have typed a colon and a comma. And now uh, click apply and let us visualize the result. Click this option called apply. So uh, there is a error saying inverted expression. So the value errors we cannot specify uh, with S. So basically it messaged that uh, the pop uh, the underscore uh, S value is being passed as a string. So rather than an uh, integer that I, I may have uh, expected. So uh, if we take a look at the field for the countries layer, we define that uh, the pop underscore EST field is being uh, so st stored as a double and uh, it should be fine to use uh, my colon and comma syntax with uh, any numeric field. So not the uh, not just integers. So what's going on is so now for that, let's check. Uh, let's check our RGIS for documentation just by clicking this option called uh, learn more about the label expression. So click this. So once you did that, uh, it opens a browser and uh, here we're going to click this option called uh, label expressions. So let me click this. So once you did that, so there is an option called uh, label expressions here. So in that, so in that we're going to visualize this particular uh, line. So that is a, uh, that is a field values are automatically cast to a text uh, string. Therefore, if you want to use as a, numeric value in an uh, automatic operation or when uh, making a comparison you must cast it back to a numeric data type so the field values are automatically cast to a text strings so if you want to make a use of a numerical value in our automatic operation we have to cast back to a numeric data type so it basically explains our, our error we are facing in our ArcGIS Pro so now uh, let me get back to our ArcGIS Pro software so now to cast uh, the open uh, the pop underscore est value to being an integer number that I want to work with. So uh, for that I just uh, add an in function around the field name. So here we're gonna add our in function here. So now uh, you can able to visualize here. So this was our uh, country's name and uh, last census and population estimate. So now let me click apply and visualize the result here. So click apply. So now we can able to visualize the result here. The population estimates are in now uh, the commas being added. So now let us make a one more uh, label expression which includes uh, some RGS uh, formatting tags to make the the names of our countries bold and uh, to display our population value in red. And now I will do the bolding uh, first. So once you did that, uh, we have added up a bold so we're gonna click apply to visualize the result here we're gonna bold our country's uh, name so click apply so now we can able to visualize the result here the country's names appears in bold color so the country name appears in bold so you can able to visualize it so now uh, i'll make the population value uh, to display in red that is our population estimate to be displayed in red. So 
So once we added our color to our population estimate, and now I'm gonna click the apply and visualize our population estimate in uh, red color. So let me click apply. So now we can able to visualize our population estimate are in, given in red color. And uh, there are many other RGIS Pro text formatting tags uh, that is available so that you can experiment with uh, labeling in RGIS Pro. So uh, to learn about more about the label expression, you can click this option. It opens a new browser. So here you can able to navigate to this part of the section called label expressions. And here we're going to click this option called RGIS Pro formatting tags. So once you do that, there are many different uh, tags have been uh, available here. You can just go on and experiment with. So it is available here. So now let me get back to our RGIS Pro platform. So in this video, I have shown you the Python uh, braces for label expressions. So we have shown you how to uh, we can visualize the multiple labels. So one is our country's name and second is the last census and the population estimate. And I'll show you how to bold this uh, the country's name and how to color our population estimate in red. So thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.